Hello everyone, this is, this is Sarah Ford again. Uh, it was another edition to unboxing um, today's Bond box. It'll be the Loop Anime Box. Uh, this is episode 3, which is Equip. I'm going to try it on my little tablet open. But yeah. Equip is the new box for this month. There's Supposed to have some really good goodies. Um, hopefully, hopefully I and all of you will like the stuff inside. Um, I'm still waiting on news to find out about the new uh, crates that they'll be coming out with. And I have also figured out how to get my uh, sharing thing fixed. Because uh, I've been posting these videos without putting my referral link in the bottom. But this time it shall be in there. And hopefully I can get some people to decide to join it or share it. I mean, I like, I like doing these videos. So I hope other people like watching them. I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who love to really get you some of your own. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and crack this case. Yeah. I'm sure there's probably a few wondering why is this video coming out so close to, or is thinking, hey, haven't you already done an anime crack? And the reason why these are coming out so close together is because in um, the enchant crate was delayed. Um, they delayed it for once, enchant uh, crate. And so this one um, came later also. Oh, well, this one came at its usual time. So, so let's see what's in the box. So the first thing in the box to be a really excellent t-shirt, high quality, uh, from a brand called Ripple Junction. Ooh. And this is a, this is a really sweet anime, Kill a Kill. That's pretty cool quality. That's a, that's a pretty cool shirt. I like it. It's 100% cotton. Always a good type of shirt to get. Let's see what else rooms beneath. Ooh, what is this? Okay. A comma good kill. A comic kill. That looks cool. I love those weapons. Those weapons are awesome. I'm an easy man, please. I like I like knives, blended weapons, and anime stuff. Another. Loot, loot anime exclusive phone charm. I tried keeping my other one on my phone for a while, but I had to take it off because I was afraid I was going to lose it. Now, this is interesting. It's a Dragon Ball Scouter. Ooh, goodness. The brightness of the night. Apparently they have a green version and a red version. I'm assuming it's some kind of toy, but it makes it out like it's supposed to be a game. Oh, 
No, I mean my head will be too big for it. It definitely does not for those kids. So according to the instructions, I put that like this. And then on the flat end, on this go like that. That may be a little too tight. Okay. Okay. Wow, it's kind of like looking through one half of a three D. View for one of those 3D lenses that she used to get out of the boxes of Cracker Jacks and such. Whoa. Yeah. Now, what's that? Oh, yeah, I can see. Sure, I'll wear this entire video. And then I would utterly go crazy. So, yeah. That's it's interesting. This definitely feels like it's designed for someone of a much, much younger age. But it's cute. Next, Ooh. now that box looks interesting. And this is from Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate Lasso Sword Pin Replica. So it's a Lucre exclusive between, between them and Capcom. Before I start doing these videos, I think I did one and uh, got another Capcom pin that they made for a uh, different game. But that, that looks pretty neat. Well, there's the pin part. And then it attaches to a big oversized blade. I wish I collected Gundams. They probably fit perfectly on like a Gundam figure. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, I'm kind of hoping this becomes a trend with these crates also. Because that'd be awesome, but 
啊，还去，呃，那是什么看来 ？Japanese fruit candy. Stay active, eat haichu. It's under license from a company in Japan, but it's made in Taiwan and distributed in America, in California. Makes sense. Perfectly makes sense. Haichu. Oh my gosh! Another manga. The best thing about it, they're manga that I haven't read, but ones that I want to read. So, this one's an Udon Entertainment Production, Blue Crate Exclusive, Steinskate, Volume One. That's going to be some great news. Before anybody asks, no, I don't see myself doing where uh, videos where I read. Uh, one, my voice goes out very easily if I talk too much. And two, who really wants to listen to this nasally voice read? Well, besides my son, but still. Let's see what's on the poster. Wow. At first, I thought the poster had, I thought the character right there was the girl from, from a different anime. Um, but apparently this is one of their exclusive characters again. They have definitely gone awesome when it comes to these posters. But everything else went went down the hill. These posters would just let me feel feel that it was pretty cool. So and on the back of course it has everything that was in the equip crates. Apparently, because the flavor of haiju I got was mango, they also have cherry, strawberry, cream apple, grape. So that's pretty cool. So that that was pretty much it for the anime crate. A lot of really cool stuff. I guess when the survey comes out, I'll make sure to let them know how cool everything is. Is it inside the box? I really like when the box actually becomes an item itself. Because then you don't feel as compelled to just want to chuck them out in the garbage. Because they've got, because now they've got some kind of value to them, essentially. Not a, not a monetary value, but it's still, it's got a value of its own now that it can become something else. If these videos weren't meant to be unboxing videos, I would so start the video with it already turned inside out. If it was a box like that. And then just present it like that. Because I don't know about you, but I'm definitely glad. They put stuff on the inside of these because I would hate my mailing label to interfere with something that looks like that.
Alright. Alright, so that was it on the little anime. Um, oh, and my, one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I was expecting my wearable for January. Well, it came late, but it did come today as well. So, I'll add it into this video. So, it's hard to tell, but it's Space Invaders. Almost like the Heart Invader shirt. And of course, there's the one lone one that's lit up, and the rest of them are all gray. And this will be one of those t-shirt hoodies, I think. So it's like part t-shirt, part, part hoodie. But that's the wearable. Um, I have some other, some other goodies coming up later this month. <coughs> um, like I said, in the link below, we'll have the for the new, I mean, we'll have my referral code if anyone's interested in becoming a looter themselves. They can be able to do that. And then, and if you're wanting to get down with some Deadpool and Walking Dead, this month's theme for February is dead. And they they have promised some exclusive items um, from Deadpool and Walking Dead. Uh, they're also if you're if you're like me, you also get the wearables. The wearables have a specialized theme. They're gonna be doing something special with their wearable from level up. So this month's uh, wearables, they have their little clues that let you know what they're what they're giving out this time. Uh, if you haven't been to LootCrate.com lately, um, you'll notice in the level up they have bundles that you can get. So a level up wearable with uh, socks bundle for twenty ninety nine plus you can handle it. And that's a pretty good deal if you're if you like to get novelty shock socks and a novelty wearable. Now the wearables are said they could be uh, shirts, hoodies, raglans, polos, uh, hats, or even loungewear. Now this month only. They're doing something special with the wearable. So if you plan to get level up this month and you get the wearable, they may send you an email if they haven't already asking you what you want. And if you're a new uh, looter, this may be a chance for you to try something different. Um, a company called Her Universe is doing an exclusive top that's featuring Deadpool or you, for that's for the women's sizes or for the men uh, size you get an exclusive Walking Dead long sleeve shirt and the wearable itself is $14.99 plus shipping handling so that's something interesting to look into if you're a big fan of either Deadpool or the Walking Dead See the I have it all ears. for the T-shirts. The clue that they put out for the theme, because they put a clue out for each one of the level ups, and you can kind of guess from it what it is. So the T-shirt says, "We wish we could chat longer about this month's T-shirt, but we're having an old friend for dinner." By Clarice. And that would be the one I'll, I'll, I will do. The other ones, you'll have to subscribe or check out yourself and see what it is. Uh, don't want to make these videos longer than they need to be. 
Yeah. But yeah. All all the items seem to be pretty good. Uh, t shirts, nice t shirts. They're sized up now for the t shirts of the five X. You get this level of socks, gives you two pairs of socks. Level of accessories usually be the one accessory, sometimes two. And then the level of wearable, which is the one I told you before, where the, you can actually choose. So if if you're a guy and you subscribe and you want to get you a long sleeve shirt for Walking Dead, you can. Or if you want to give you, get your lady a lovely Deadpool wearable, you can choose out of the way for this month. Um, when my crate gets here, uh, I'll be sure to to do a video to show it off what I got. Like I said, this month's crate is the honor of Deadpool and the return of the Walking Dead season. So hopefully you'll come and join us. And No, I'm not getting paid by Loot Crate to do this, so that's why I'm just saying it's your choice. Also, another franchise that I'm going to plug that I'm also not getting paid by uh, this weekend it's the premiere of Deadpool. Yes. The Merc with the Mouth is back. So, grab your loved ones. Treat, treat your loved ones to a nice weekend of a dinner out and some blood and gore provided by the Merc himself, Deadpool. Uh, this is Seraph this is Lord 23. Yeah. Hope to see you this weekend. Y'all have a good weekend, man. Yeah. Don't forget to sign up for crates. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another announcement. The Loot Crate is also doing a bi-monthly crate uh, themed after the series Firefly. Uh, this month I will have... I'll be getting one of those. And then as soon as they release it, they anime crate as well. I'm going to try both of those out see if I like them or not. Uh, may have to start reducing my number of crates, but I don't know. Uh, I know I keep saying goodbye, but this time it's a video. I'm signing off now. It's their floor out. And keep creating. Peace.